in my hand, I have the letter I received from Aquatech after sending my housing in for service. What does it say? Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Brian with Hawaii Life as well as Nala Photography. I want to thank you all again for tuning in to one of my videos. Um, I think when I first posted that Aquatech video, I had maybe 40 subscribers and now I have over 350. So I appreciate you subscribing and uh, for following my channel. And no tease, I'm going to get to uh, the Aquatech email in a moment. But first, uh, a couple questions for you. Uh, first, uh, I'd love to know which lens you uh, is your favorite lens when shooting surf or shoreline photography. And for uh, Sony shooters, I'd love to know um, what autofocus settings you use when you're doing surf and shoreline photography. Because when I had the Aquatic housing, I was using a Canon Mark IV, and my hit ratio was very high for getting crisp, sharp photos. But with my Sony uh, A9, I'm getting a lot of blurry photos, and uh, no, I'm uh, not using the correct autofocus settings. So I'd love to get your feedback or suggestions, and you can just um, leave them in the comments section and be very grateful. And now, so after that Aquatech video I last made, um, I really wasn't sure what I was going to do with the Aquatech housing. I thought about perhaps just using it or keeping it for, as a backup option for myself. Uh, maybe if I had a, a friend or my girlfriend want to use um, housing at some point, it would be available. But ultimately, I decided to sell it. And once I decided to sell it, I wanted to make sure that I was selling somebody a, a product that was reliable and worked. So I contacted Aquatech, told them um, I'd like to send in my housing for service. and. Um, disappointingly, I was responsible for all the shipping costs. Uh, maybe I should not have been surprised, but I was. But shortly after sending it in, I get an email from the product manager, and he wrote that um, our findings were that the lower right latch was loose. We did go ahead and replace it. And he also said that they were going to send me back the old latch. And so I don't know about you, but for me, that if you're replacing a latch, there's a reason for it. And so this kind of just reinforced that there was something wrong with that housing. Um, still, perhaps, you know, I did something wrong, but if the latch is loose um, and they replaced it, obviously there was a fault. And incredibly is that this whole, throughout this whole process, they never apologized about anything, never took any sort of responsibility, uh, never gave me any credit for anything. And, and when I say credit, not like credit for making a claim, but credit for like all the gam gear I lost. Um, and uh, then I had to pay for my, the shipping costs. So, end of the day, I am not a fan of Aquatech housing. Uh, I did see they came out with some new housing recently, and to be honest, it caught my attention. I did some research on it. Um, I saw that there was some positive feedback on it, and having that hinge and, the, and, the, and only two latches now, to me, is very appealing. But the way they treated me and this, the my experience is that I, I decided I'm not going to spend, I'm not going to give Aquatech any of my money ever again. Um, but throughout this whole process, I have learned that there is no perfect housing currently on the market. Um, the closest I could find is that my friend has, I think it's Isota, Isota, it's a brand out of Italy. Um, it's a dive housing, but boy, if they could come out with the uh, surf housing with a pistol grip, I would be a fan because it has double seals everywhere has a uh, vacuum pump seal, um, has a similar latch as Aquatech, or the, the door or the hinge at the bottom, two latches up top. And that thing seems like it's pretty much foolproof. So again, if they would come out with a pistol grip, I would be one of their first uh, customers. And I even thought this whole process about like coming out and designing my own housing because I don't know how big the market is, but it really seems like there's a need for uh, more of a higher end quality housing. Uh, that said, I ended up going with uh, Salty Housing, and all in all, uh, I'm happy with it. This, this thing has taken a beating twice, and uh, at the end of the day, my camera is safe, dry, I had no issues, so it definitely serves its purpose. Um, I knew going in, this is the reason I didn't find, find, buy it the first time, is because the you know, bolts and screws are a little tedious, um, but it does protect my gear. Um, Matt, who's the owner, he's wonderful. 
Um, been very helpful when I talk to him. I'm a fan of him. And kind of a pleasant surprise is that uh, when I ordered everything online, um, I forgot about the Australian dollar and the currency exchange. And I don't know how strong the American dollar is right now, but what I expected to pay was a lot more than what I actually paid. Um, so that was a pleasant surprise. But a couple things I don't like about the housing is when I first got this, there was two little foam um, cubes here, maybe inch and a half, inch and a half long. And the purpose is, I'm guessing, is that when you secure like this, it holds your camera in place. Well, these things are just glued on, and very soon after having this housing, I lost, I, I might have it at home somewhere, but I don't know where they're at, and I don't use these things anymore. And the other thing is that, if you can see in here, there's some little uh, foam wedges. And the first time I wanted to use the housing, I could not get my lens to go all the way into the port because I kept on hitting these wedges. So being cautious, I contacted Matt and told him about it, and he suggested, he said, just light up a match, hold it to the uh, foam wedge till it gets hot, and then, then compress it, and then you'll be able to get your uh, lens in there. So after doing that for a couple of minutes, getting toxic fumes in my face, being worried about maybe the flame's gonna damage the port, I just gave up, and on this, this, this port, I just detached the, the, the wedges, moved them down, down a little bit so I could force my lens in. Um, for my 7200 port I have, I think I just completely uh, removed them um, from the port. So th that's only my, my, like my really big gripe for this. Um, other thing though is that, so it it's, it's pretty much feels like a custom housing. When I, when I first placed my order, uh, Matt said that the 7200 port wasn't available and so they had to uh, um, make it in the shop. And all in all, I mean, the Aquatech, I will say that the Aquatech housing feels a little more well-built than this. But at the end of the day, this definitely serves its purpose much better than the Aquatech with the beatings it's taken. And speaking of those beatings is that, learn from my mistakes. Um, a little background about me is that, so I'm from Washington State, um, raised in a family that loved the water, so I was in the water quite often, salt, fresh water. Um, for eight years, I lived in uh, Southern California, so I was Hermosa, Manhattan, Redondo Beach. I was in the ocean quite often. And I really thought that I was a pretty good, that I, I had confidence in the water and never really was concerned about any safety issues. But coming to Hawaii is, is it's a whole new beast. And I had always heard that Sandy's Beach here was like the most dangerous um, for broken necks, broken limbs. But this past winter, uh, my girlfriend and I went to a uh, Kiki Beach, and so we're on the North Shore. And I didn't know at the time, but I don't know if you're familiar with Jamie O'Brien. He does; he's got great content on YouTube. He does a lot of surf stuff. He once said in one of his videos that he says that Kiki Beach has the heaviest uh, lip uh, in the world. And from experience, I know that there there can be a lot of volume and weight coming down on these waves. So the day I was there, that I got in the water, um, it was a pretty big day, and I brought my housing, but I wasn't even sure that I was going to go in the water. But my girlfriend went in with uh, Osmo Action, and she's local, very, very skilled in the water, and she was doing fine. So I went in there and very soon got into trouble. And uh, when I got in trouble, I mean, I, was, I had to go to the hospital, get staples in my head. I lost the housing, had to go to the hospital. And a couple things learned there is that, you know, I have a helmet, I just didn't bring it that day. but. For anyone who's going into the ocean um, on a big swell day, even, even on a smaller swell day, if you don't know the, the currents, the rip tides, um, don't know how to handle when a wave's breaking, um, talk to locals and practice before you start getting into the bigger stuff because there is a lot of force energy there. And if you don't know what you're doing, it is so easy to get hurt. And the doctor who has put staples in my head, he said they get more injuries from Kiki Beach than they do from Sandy's. So um, just a word of caution. And you know, helmet, I, I highly recommend a helmet at all times. But my thinking too is though, I got really lucky because like if this thing, I, when, I got, when I got hit hard by this wave, I lost the housing. But if this would have hit me somehow in the eye, it could have been tragic. So again, these things that expect the unexpected when you're in the water because you just never know what can happen. And just take all the precautions you can. Um, because I, I mean, this is fun stuff, but I, I mean, I don't want to see anybody get hurt like I do or, or worse. Um, so that's my recommendation. 
And that is actually all I have for you today. Um, if you have any questions for me about my salty housing or anything else about living on Oahu, let me know. And also, if you have any um, suggestions or anything you want for content for Oahu or Hawaii in general, I like creating these videos, but I just kind of run out of ideas for what I think people might find interesting because there's so many YouTube channels with Hawaii stuff. I just don't want to be redundant. But if there's something you'd like to see, um, let me know because I'd like to uh, create some stuff for, for all, you, all you subscribers. But anyways, thank you again for watching. Um, enjoy the water. Be safe. And if you're ever on Oahu, look me up. Uh, I'd love to connect and uh, maybe do some surfing or do some, do some uh, photography. Aloha. Bye-bye.